multiplying fractions. We multiply fractions straight across, numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Example, two-fifths times three-sevenths. So two times three across the top gives us six. Five times seven across the bottom gives us 35. So we have six over 35. Try this one. Four sevenths times three eighths. Four times three is twelve. Seven times eight is fifty six. But then we notice that the twelve and the fifty six are both divisible by two. So we reduce and we end up with six over twenty eight. Ah, but they're still divisible by two. And now we're down to 3 over 14. Is there an easier way? Let's try this set of fractions again. 4 sevenths times 3 eighths. Notice that the 4 and the 8, one in the top, the numerator, one in the bottom, the denominator, are both divisible by 4. The 4 divided by 4 becomes the 1. The 8 divided by 4 becomes a 2. So now on the top we have 1 times 3, which is 3. And on the bottom we have 7 times 2, which is 14. Same answer as before, but done with easier multiplication. This is called simplifying early. You're going to have to simplify, you might as well simplify early, which then makes the multiplication easier. Try this one. Four-fifths times two-ninths times fifteen-twenty-fourths. If we multiply straight across, 4 times 2 times 15 is 120. 5 times 9 times 24 is 1,080. Both divisible by 10, which gives us 12 over 1,000. Over 108. Simplify again, because they were both even. Dividing by 2 gives us 6 over 54. And one more time, they're both divisible by 6, so we're down to 1 over 9. Not too bad, as long as you mu liked multiplying 9 times 5 times 24. Let's try it the other first. We notice that the 2 and the 24, one on the top, one on the bottom, are both divisible by 2, which then gives us a 1 in place of the 2 on top and a 12 in place of the 24. Then we see that the 4 and the 12 are both divisible by 4. So that replaces the 4 on top with a 1 and the 12 on the bottom with a 3. And then we see that the 5 and the 15 are both divisible by 5. So that puts a 3 on the top and a 1 on the bottom. And then we notice that the 3 and the 9 are both divisible by 3. So the 3 on top becomes a 1. The 9 on the bottom becomes a 3. Now when we multiply across, in the numerator, we get 1 times 1 times 1. which is just 1. And on the bottom, 1 times 3 times 3 which leaves us with a 9. Same answer, but the multiplication was definitely easier this time. 